Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Minasone Wi-Fi dimmer plug uh, for outdoor IP65 waterproof working with Alexa, Google and so on. It has a maximum power of 400 watts and the reason why I bought this is because it has the lowest price currently on Amazon, especially given when you take the 15% uh, coupon which is available at the moment it has pretty good reviews and what was also important I mean a lot of people have been already buying and commenting I think this is something which a lot of people are already using it's not just something which is new on the market so looks like it's definitely working but i'm going to check everything yeah, and actually the biggest reason why i bought this thing is that they are saying that it's working with the smart life app and i'm already using the smart life app for a lot of different things i'm using this for many many smart plugs also for a robot cleaner for many many things I have almost everything which is smart in my home there so I didn't want to install uh, other apps I just want to have everything there I mean the Vice company is also selling similar things and they have this plug they have cameras they have a robot cleaner they have many many more things but the big big problem with Vice is that they have a really bad uh, scheduling when it comes to a timer when you want to add a timer timer or really really bad with the wise company I have already tested I mean I have all, also these things in place they are working but timer is really difficult and with the smart life timer smart life scheduling uh, it has always been working really good uh, by the way the model type is MP 22 WD there is some light indicator here waterproof dimmable yeah that's really important that's what we want also that it's not too large we have overload warning of course it's a, it's a single outlet it's not a duplicate or triple outlet just a single one but usually I'm just using single ones if you need uh, like a power strip you can also add a power strip uh, to that if you need more devices of course you have to make sure that they are also waterproof here's the device a really small one this is what I like I didn't want to have a large thing you can see it's waterproof yeah, it doesn't make too much sense when we have this lid here so if you have single ones if you don't need it you can remove the whole thing we don't need this flap here but uh, I'm not complaining about that we have this mount and uh, more information if you need that if you can read that it's too small for me so the next step is now to connect to the app i'm going to show you that how this works i mean by the way it comes with a screw for mounting and we get this information here not a large thing but maybe it helps i'm going to show you everything it's just a couple of pages maybe it can help if you lost instructions or if you bought used or you just want to make a better buy decision so here are the last two pages if you are troubling with uh, connecting or so usually what's important is that we have to long press and then it goes into connecting mode then we go into the app i mean of course you have to set up the ad and add your account but then we tap on the plus and select electrical socket and add the password and everything from there is usually self-explaining if it works so this is exactly what i'm going to do now let's see if we get a light yeah something which i didn't see before is that it also comes with a bluetooth quick fit mode and i think i'm going to test that i've never uh, tested something like that i haven't found much in the description or in the instructions so we click on the plus let's see if it finds something and yeah that's actually crazy as long as we have the bluetooth turned on it automatically finds this thing go to add that's amazing this would be so much of an improvement and because I have already uh, connected previous devices to my Wi-Fi, I guess my Wi-Fi and the password is already there. If you 
uh, don't have it already, just select the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi which you want to use to connect this device and also make sure that you are also connected to the same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi with your phone and then enter the password to the route. That's not a password from here, it's password from the route and click on next. So let's see what happens now. I don't know if it's still working on that. i leave it a little bit like this. I think there is some blue uh, bar here. The blue bar is getting larger and larger, but I still cannot get any confirmation. Maybe I have to click on that. No, there's nothing to click. We just have to wait. I mean, the blue blinking uh, went away. Now we have green and we have green and we can click on next. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that was actually the easiest way how to connect such a smart device. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. So let's click on done. We have this thing here. And we have this dimmer now. I have to plug in something. Yeah, don't have something dimmable here, but I'm just plugging this thing in. Let's see. Yeah, we get power. And now this thing comes on, goes automatically to 100%. Of course, if I decrease this thing, there wouldn't be enough power. Probably it will turn off after that. Yeah, that's not a good idea to dim something like that. It doesn't work. It's just for lights. But uh, I'm going to test this outside. And But at the moment, works really, really good. The best thing I've ever seen. And scheduling, let's see if this works. So we'll add uh, some starting time. Let's say we want to have this turning on on every day at 7.30. Can give it a tag or yeah, we can get notification. And the switch is on or off. And that's the on which we want. Let's save this thing and now let's add an off. I don't see any way to change that to 12 hour AM PM, but I'm uh, definitely anyway better off with the 24 hours. I'm going to set the end of the timer to one o'clock in the morning, also every day. And then we want to have the switch off at this time. We also save it and we have the on and so I think I messed it up with the time. I want to have 7.30 actually. And now I have yeah, 7.30 on and uh, 1 o'clock in, in the morning, uh, a little bit after midnight uh, off. Okay, that's easy enough. And we have yeah, a normal timer. I don't have to show you that. A uh, couple of settings here. Uh, not much. Uh, or we can turn it on and off directly from here or from here. Power on, power off, yeah, a little bit slow, but it works. I mean, this doesn't have to be a, a super fast thing. Needs a little bit of time to react, but it definitely works. So I'm putting this thing outside where I have the light, and then I'm going to show you if it's also working there. So I'm back here after testing it a little bit uh, outside where I have the patio light, and it was really super easy. It works on and off. And also the dimming when we go into detail. Yeah, I've seen, I've checked everything from 100% to 1% and it works really good with this light. Uh, works really fast, sensitive, exactly how I needed that. The only thing is, again, the scheduling. In the scheduling, you cannot add anything like a percentage dimming level or so. It will stay on the same dimming level as you have applied before manually. It, but it will use it won't go to 100% when you turn it on I mean I've already tested this outside I went manually on the lowest level of course you have to have it turned on then you can change the level I put it down on uh, 1% and then turned it off and went to the schedule and added one single schedule here and it turned on took about two or three seconds or so and then it turned on and it was still on the lowest setting which means the last setting where you left it so you can adjust the uh, brightness level or the dimming level and it will use it also for the schedule but you cannot change it in the schedule so it will be for all the uh, schedules which you have here 
And I also wanted to show you really quickly how it works with Google. I'm not going into detail because it's too complicated. But as soon as you have it set up, it's very easy to use. And the really good thing is, again, uh, if you're using the Smart Life, no matter what devices you are adding to this Smart Life app here, everything will then be automatically uh, connected or available at the Google Assistant as soon as you have. Uh, connected the Smart Life app to the Google Assistant. So I'm uh, closing this again. So what I have done, I have renamed the thing here. You can remain, you, you can give it a, a different name. I have called it Patio Lights here. And I don't have to give this name to Google. Google will automatically recognize this from the app here. So I can say something, hey Google, turn off Patio Lights. Okay, turning the patio lights on. Hey Google, turn off patio lights. Okay, turning the patio lights off. Hey Google, increase patio light brightness by 10%. Got it, brightening the patio lights by 10%. Okay, that didn't work. Hey Google, increase the brightness of the patio light by 10%. Got it, brightening the patio lights by 10%. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'm still working on that. I don't know exactly what Google is doing, but you can see you can even change the brightness level here or you can, when it's invoked, you can change it directly from here. It doesn't matter. So so again, overall, I'm super happy with it. Couldn't be much better than that, especially with this Bluetooth quick fit mode, even much better than the easy mode. I mean, easy mode, I've done this a couple of times before, usually works really good. But since we have this uh, Bluetooth mode that's much better that's the best thing which i've ever seen really nice device nice price nice everything i'm super happy and so i can give you full recommendation on that and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.